When somebody asks you about the Middle Ages, what do you think of? You think of castles, night-saving princesses, and dragons. All those things are related to the Middle Ages, but they're not even half the story. In history books, you may read about King Arthur, Crusades, and monarchy, but that still isn't all of what the Middle Ages were like. This is your average medieval times man. They don't really do much, but when you catch them doing something, they're most likely farming. Life for the average medieval times man was very routine, especially since they had to follow the king's every single whim, no matter how ridiculous. The average man in medieval times would be expected to attend every social activity that was going on. I mean, you name it. Parties, plays, gambling, and so on. Of course, they had school in the Middle Ages, but it was a bit different then. It all started when the French King Charlemagne came to the throne. He realized that if the human race were to continue, people would have to be well educated, so Charlemagne ordered that for every church in Europe, there would be a place to teach young boys for free. However, that was it. Just boys were allowed to go to school. Girls weren't allowed. You'd also had to be intelligent and persevere to begin with. Knights also went to school. In school, most students learned about Grammar, rhetoric, logic, Latin, astronomy, philosophy, and mathematics. They had natural science too, but it wasn't very good. Many medieval students had to be taught that hyenas can change their gender at will and that the elephant's greatest fear is the dragon. Students had to sit on the floor next to each other and wrote on wooden tablets covered with green or black wax. As you can see, the cap and gown college graduates wear have originated from what students in the Middle Ages wore to school. When people of the Middle Ages had time, it was nice to play a little game. Chess was very popular in the Middle Ages, and they had two versions, the original, and a version you can use with dice. There were also a lot of games that still live today. Bowling, Prisoner's Base, and Blind Man's Bluff. And many medieval children found fun in swimming, fishing, wrestling, and playing a special game that was a twist between tennis and handball. There was also a game played at Christmas feasts, which is called King of the Bean. There would be a small bean baked into a cake, and whoever found the bean would be crowned King of the Holiday Feast. If you were real good at, say, carpentering, then you could open a store and sell your woodworks. However, you would rarely get any customers because market only opened once a week, and you would also have to work on your own. That's right, usually only one person could own a store and work it. No hiring employees, but later on something called guilds were introduced. It meant that now other people were allowed to help you sell stuff. a whole lot of holidays in the Middle Ages. And do you know how they celebrated them? They would... Eat, 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 eat. Although they always ate on holidays, there are some other significant traditions they celebrated. There was a holiday in medieval times called Plow Monday. On this holiday, people would have a plow race and try to plow as many lines in the dirt as they can. The children participated in this holiday too. The children would go up to somebody's house and ask for pennies. If they refused, they would find the ground in front of their house all plowed up. In medieval times, Christmas is celebrated all the way from Christmas to January 6th. On Easter, people gave their castle lords eggs, and in return, the castle lord gives people servants and food for one night. It was hard being an average person in the Middle Ages, and people are glad that the Middle Ages are over. 
although the world simply wouldn't be the same without the Middle Ages. Where would we get our stories of King Arthur, or our fairy tales, or our dragon stories? None of these things could have possibly happened without the Middle Ages.